subject pronouns versus object pronouns. Let's understand the difference between subject pronouns and object pronouns. What is a pronoun? So the first thing to understand is what is a pronoun? Any word takes the place of a noun. So the pronoun is any word that takes the place of a noun. Then Adamir Hua a Kerima Tahud Makan al Isim. Example Alex is a driver. He drives a bus. Alex is a driver. He drives a bus. Alex is a driver. He drives a bus. In this sentence, it is clear that Alex is the subject in the first sentence. He drives a bus. He is the pronoun. It refers to Alex. So we said that the pronoun takes the place of the noun Alex. So here the pronoun he takes the place of the noun Alex. Then Adamir, he, here in this sentence, he will take the place of the noun Alex, which is the first in this sentence. What is a subject pronoun? What is a subject pronoun? ما هو الضمير الذي هو يأخذ مكان الفاعل في الجملة? Subject pronoun is the door of the action. It does the action in the sentence. Then, الضمير الفعل هو الذي يقوم بالفعل في الجملة. Then, الضمير الذي هو فاعل هو الذي يقوم بالفعل في الجملة. He drives a bus. He, in this sentence, is the subject pronoun. It is the door of the action. He, it is the, the subject pronoun because it is the door of the action. إذن الضمير he في هذه الجملة هو الفاعل لأنه هو القائم بالفعل. Drives. It is the action or the verb. أما الفعل أما drives فهو الفعل طبعا. What is an object pronoun? ما هو الضمير الذي يأخذ مقام المفعول به؟ Object pronoun is the receiver of the action. So the object pronoun is the receiver of the action. إذا الضمير الذي هو يحل محل يحل محل المفعول به هو المتقبل أو الذي وقع عليه الفعل. 
In other words, the object pronoun is affected by the action. It is the receiver of the action done by the subject. Object pronouns are used after a verb or a preposition to avoid repetition in the sentence. إذن هذه الضمائر نستعملها بعد الفعل بعد فعل أو بعد حرف جر وذلك لنتجنب التكرار في الجملة. I saw him today. I is the doer of the action, so it is the subject pronoun. So is the action or the verb. Him is the receiver of the action or object pronoun. رأيته اليوم. أنا الذي رأيته. والذي رأيته هو ولذلك نقول أنا رأيته I saw him إذن I is the subject pronoun him is the object pronoun Examples I like horses. I, in this sentence, is the subject pronoun. Horses don't like me. Me is the object pronoun. So if you pay attention, the I and the first sentence, you see the, which is the subject pronoun, turned into an object pronoun in the second sentence. It then في الجملة الأولى I هي الفاعل أما في الجملة الثانية فهي المفعول به ولذلك تصبح me We talk to our neighbor We talk to our neighbor We is the subject pronoun She talks to us She talks to us Us is the object pronoun So we which is the subject pronoun in the first sentence, becomes object pronoun in the second sentence. They listen to the teacher. They listen to the teacher. They is the subject pronoun. She listens to them carefully. Them is the object pronoun. So they turns into them when it is an object pronoun. You speak very quickly. You, subject pronoun in this sentence. We watch you on TV. You here is an object pronoun. إذن إذا لاحظنا أن كل فاعل في الجملة الأولى يصبح مفعول به في الجملة الثانية. من subject pronoun يتحول إلى object pronoun. إذا I تصبح me, we تصبح us, they تصبح them, and you تبقى هي نفسها. Subject pronouns and object pronouns. So we have I becomes me. You, you, he, him, she, her, it, it, we, us, you, in the plural, you, they, them. Now complete with the right object pronoun.
I am hungry. The rice is for me. You are hungry. The apple is for you. David is hungry. The fish is for him. Sandra is hungry. The nuts are for her. The mouse is hungry. The cheese is for it. You are hungry. The pizza is for us. We are hungry. The pizza is for us. You are hungry. The soup is for you. The children are hungry. The cake is for them.